How's it going guys? Shade here and today I'm gonna bring you my King of Games Thunder Dragon build. So uh, now that Thunder Dragon is off the... Uh, the Dragon Dark is off the ban list, um, I decided to play with him and I spent I think uh, 40 minutes and I went from Legend 2 to King of Games and I think I only lost in the process like 4 games on uh, I think 2 on Legend 4, 1 Legend 5 uh, no, uh, sorry, 2 on Legend 3, 1 on Legend 4 and 1 on Legend 5 uh, besides that I was pretty much undefeatable and uh, this deck is just uh, really insane and I would ju just want to show you guys uh, the deck list so um, as you can see on my last 10 games I only lost one after that I, will, I win 5 in a row and went to King, King of Games um, so uh, let's just get into this nutty um, deck list so uh, for Thunder Dragon's skill I'm playing Seal later because uh, with Thunder Dragon we just go into our synchros make our aggressive plays and then we just finish with either the Dragon Duo or uh, like Chaos Sorcerer, which banish from the graveyard to special summon from the hand. So uh, sometimes uh, on that process they might get floodgated or like for the Sorcerer, if you activate its effect to banish a uh, monster face up from the field, he can't attack. So I'm, you're gonna use Seal later to return either the floodgated monster on the end or the, um, the Sorcerer on field that can't attack. To special summon the monster again and then just go for your LTK. So seal later in this deck is really insane because of that. You almost never uh, normal summon except if you're going with the the light sworn engine. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So as I already said, double chaos sorcerer level six special summons by banishing a light and dark. And once per turn you can uh, banish a face up monster on the field, which is pretty insane. So I'm running two copies of it. This is basically um for like uh cheaper um cheaper players if you don't have money to get Flavinir uh the Chaos Sorcerer is the best card for you to play. Uh next playing double Dragon Hawk. Um Dragon Hawk is basically the best uh of them so this will special summon a Thunder Dragon that is banished on the graveyard uh, the second effect you don't use it that much, but if you banish it, you ca it can fix your hand, shuffling back the cards that um, you don't need or just uh, like useless, and draw more. Uh, next, triple Dragon Dark off the ban list. This card is insanely good. Basically, if it's in your hands during either player's turn, you can discard it. To add another Dragon Dark, so it will fill the graveyard uh, for you uh, to go into your um, Chaos summoning for the Sorcerer or a special summon of uh, Dragon Duo. Uh, if it's banished, it searches for any Thunder Dragon, so it can search as a Hawk, can give us a Roar, can give us a Dragon Duo, it's just a really insane card. Uh, for the the tuners, I'm playing one Glob Bulb and double Jet Synchron. Uh, you can play uh, what you want. You can play some uh, Plague Spreaders or just play Jet Synchrons if you don't have the Glob Bulb. Uh, but yeah, this is just uh, pretty useful, and I think the level ones are better for you to make plays because the turn dragons are always like. Um, I level monster, so the the lower the 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 level of this the tuner, the best for synchro summoning with thunder dragons. Uh, next, as I said, one uh, dragon duo. Uh, it's searchable, special summons by banishing a light and a dark, so you can trigger effects like dark or roar while doing it. Uh, <laughs> and basically, uh, when a person activates a hand. Uh, end effect, so if you uh, use any of your Thunder Dragon effects or if they have like a hand trap like Diddy Crow um, 
this card gains 300 attack until the end of turn, which is not that like that um, uh, use use not useful. Like it's not that uh, important of an effect. The other effects are the ones that really shine. So. If you destroy a monster by battle, uh, you banish a card from your graveyard, which once again can trigger a dark or a roar uh, to basically search for a thunder, a thunder monster. And during your opponent's end phase, you target one of the banished uh, cards you have. Any banished card doesn't have. It can be a spell like Charge of the Light Brigade. It can be a Bacon Saver. It can be a Chaos Sorcerer. It can be anything and you either put it on top or the bottom. So if you mill your Chaos Sorcerers, you can use Dragon Duo to put it on top of the deck so next turn you have for um, going to your place. So uh, really good uh, for the deck, the, the Dragon Duo. And even if you like mill all three of them, uh, Roar can get you back the Duo and then Duo during your opponent's turn, um, on the end phase of your opponent's turn, will get you back the Sorcerer, which is pretty good. Uh, next, Triple Dragon Roar, it's a really good card because uh, for, for the Thunder, Dra um, Thunder Dragon monsters that we have, this is the, the one, that it, it's a bitter, so if you have like a, a Dragon Ock in your hand and you have no more like a way to synchro, just want another monster to go and OTK, this is more likely the monster you're gonna summon because it's a, a huge monster, 2400 attack. And its effects, you can discard a car, uh, you can discard it to head back one of the Thunder Dragons. So as I already said, if you have either a Hawk or Duo in the graveyard, you, you don't want to do it with Dark. But if you have any of those two, you can get it back to your hand and go for your place. Or if this card is used for Synchro Summon, which uh, or leaves the field or gets banished, which will be our way to Black Rose the field. Uh, you're gonna get an another uh, Thunder Dragon monster from your deck, so uh, pretty good. So basically, this plus a, like a Jet Synchron can give you um, Black Rose, and then after you Black Rose, special summons a, a Dragon Dark, which is pretty good because then you can just get another Tuner, make a Synchro, go in for attacks. She's pretty insane. So uh, yeah. Uh, if you want to, you can play like either one less Roar or one less Dark and play one more Hawk. But I don't have more Hawks, so I am only playing two. Uh, for Light Swords, we're playing Double Raiden. This is a, the best normal summon um, for the deck. Uh, since the two cards from your deck to the graveyard. And during the end phase, you send another two. And it's a level 4 tuner, searchable with Charger of Light Brigade. Um, we're playing one Lumina because if you, you search it with charge and you mill any of your light swarms, you can use her to make a Fortune Lady, which is a pretty strong card uh, because it keeps summoning back to the field, it banishes cards without targeting. It's uh, really good, so that's why I'm, I'm only playing one, though you don't want to see this that much. You only want to see it if you mill a uh, light swarm so since you, since it's situational and it's searchable with charge you only want one copy of it uh, next uh, the minerva this is just because it's a level 3 so you can use it uh, so it, with some monsters it's better for like the synchro summon so like if you have a dragon roar you on the field you don't want to get raiden you want to get maiden so you can get into your dragon mech but uh, the raiden plus the dragon roar can be good to like make a dd the gust king alexander but uh, the better one will be the vermilion to get a pop and i still have a huge monster on the field uh, the double charge is it just an insane link card thank god it's limited to two um, Basically, just mills three cards from the deck and searches you for a light swarm. And then, just since we were playing lots of milling, I'm playing one back and saver for our place. Since this is more of an aggro deck, if you don't OTK, you have no protection, so back and saver is useful. Uh, for extra deck, one Vermilion Dragon Mech for pops. Um, 
once start the Spark Dragon for protection. This goes pretty well if you're able to do both this and the uh, Black Rose, uh, so that uh, you can use Starless protects from Black Rose or or it's some like if your opponent uh, has some sets a card next turn, having the Globe Bulb and the Graveyard and the Black Rose in the field can be good. So uh, sometimes you either pro uh, get a protection from Spark Dragon is good. Uh, Brianek returns cards on the field by discarding. It's level six, so it's easy to make with the Dark and like Globe Bulb or a Jet Synchron. Uh, the I King Alexander. It's just because it's a 3,000 attack builder that is a level 10 uh, synchro. We just needed a level 10 synchro, and this this is the the only good one that we have at the moment in playing it. Uh, fortunately, I already talked this uh, about it. This card <coughs> is insanely strong. Uh, one Zeta for going first. This card is pretty pretty good going first too, uh, because it can deal with monsters your opponent's special summons. Uh, but yeah, this is a deck list. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys uh, right now with the replays. And yeah, uh, that's about about it. Drop a like if you enjoyed this kind of uh, video. Uh, comment down below if you have any suggestion for me to do next. And well, I guess I'll see you guys next time.